Okay, guys, finally, I think I've got the solution for the uh, Bluetooth issues with the Mac Mini and the Macs that people are having. And um, I'll just show you here. Uh, I've done I've done a couple of videos before, so I'll leave, leave links up there. Uh, I've done one where I was resetting the Bluetooth module, and I ran you through that, and also uh, cleaning cleaning the actual mouse, the sensor. Uh, so those two videos are going to be up there. But um, I'll show you what I think has basically solved it now because I came across this because um, I've basically got a uh, like a USB three hub going into the USB ports there in the back of the Mac Mini. Um, so it's similar to that one second from second from the left, and it's just got a sh very short cable, so you can't get it away from the Mac Mini very very well, and that's that's where the actual uh, Bluetooth module uh, resides. So the solution is, I'll just show you. You get yourself a USB extension like this one here, parts list, and um, two dollars. <laughs> What's four dollars? Two dollars. <laughs> so just get one of these. And you can move, just move the move the uh, the hub away from the Mac Mini, basically. So I'll just show you here. It's one of my spare ones. So yeah, it's like half. It's like half a meter. You can get meter ones. Start with half a meter. If it doesn't work, get a meter one. But um, as you can see, when you compare it to when you compare it to the thickness of the normal cables. Uh, is that going to show up very well? It's a lot, lot thinner the like ones that come out of the hubs. You can see there. So these have just got more shielding on them. It's got RF shielding, so it doesn't interfere. And also, you've got all the cables coming from from the uh, hub as well to your hard drives and that sort of thing. That's going to interfere with the Mac Mini as well. So the the theory is, move everything away from your Mac Mini in the USB three ports. USB-C don't seem to have the problem. I've got um, some hard drives, external hard drives in my USB-C ports. Doesn't seem to matter too much. But um, I've noticed now that I've moved my hub away, I'm, ha I'm getting a lot better US uh, Bluetooth reception. Only time it gets a little bit laggy is when I'm doing some uh, uh, high, high intensity um, <clears throat> video editing, sorry. And then the ramps, uh, fans ramp up and just a video in general just slows down so it's, that affects everything the mouse and just total total lagginess starts happening there but that's got nothing to do with the bluetooth that's that's just more the thermal thermal limitations of the uh, mac minis um hopefully we'll get a uh, m m series mac mini when it comes out next week they're gonna maybe release another one like the m1x or something so see see what the specs are like and how much it costs and might go down that route but um in the meantime, hopefully that fixes the Bluetooth. It's been like two, three days now, and it's been really solid. Like you just, you just know you can sort of feel that sort of. It's you know sometimes it stalls and lags and like the resolution's not too good. This I'm moving it very slowly on the screen. Works perfectly. So give that a go. Move everything away from the Mac Mini from the USB. Um, 3.0 ports it's got two of them on the back of the mac mini and um yeah see how it goes guys so i'll leave your comments below if it fixes it and uh if it does don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you next time cheers